Hi, I'm Jim Rasmussen from Tab Sense Design Works, and today I'm going to show you how to assemble your enclosure for your Lulzbot Mini 3D printer. Okay, here we go. We've got the instructions for the Lulzbot Mini 3D printer enclosure. This has the optional top for the enclosure with the clips that attach it. Next we have the well-wrapped long pieces for the enclosure. Now these are opaque acrylic, but the pieces that will actually ship are clear acrylic. It's opaque simply so it shows up better in the video when we're assembling it. Next we have the front door. Again, opaque acrylic in this case, but the ones that ship will be clear acrylic. And we have the installed hinges and latch for the front door for our enclosure. And finally we have the remainder of the acrylic pieces for our enclosure. The Tab Synth logo. And the rest of the clips for attaching the panels to the 3D printer. That's it for the box. Next we'll be assembling the front of the enclosure. That's this portion here. We've laid it out on the table according to the picture. And we'll be following the instructions, page three of five, for the assembly of the front of the enclosure. Here we go. Starting with the front panel of the closure, with the door installed, hinges to the right, latch to the left. We'll have a large slot for the attachment at the top, and a small slot will be in the bottom. So this will be the orientation. Next we will take the bottom of the enclosure, and we're just going to tip it at an angle, and with a slight bending motion very easily, fasten the two together. Now they're attached loosely at this point, you'll see they'll be able to hinge freely. And that's okay because as we add additional parts, the assembly will become more rigid. Next we're going to take the top of the enclosure. And we'll do the same thing with that. Slight bending motion, and now we've attached the top and the bottom. And again, they're free to hinge until we attach the sides, which we're going to do next. We're going to take the right side of the enclosure and we will start attaching at the bottom. We will engage the two hook tabs here and then we will just with a slight bending motion engage the tabs around the entire enclosure with a slight satisfying clicking sound as each tab engages. And Now we're going to turn it over and we're going to do the other side of the enclosure, the left hand side. And again we'll do the same thing. We'll start at the bottom inserting the hook tabs and then with a slight bending motion we'll engage each tab very easily as we go around each side of the enclosure. Again, make sure the tabs align correctly. You don't want to force them, but they'll go together with a nice clicking sound. Now what we'll see is as we added the sides, the enclosure becomes much more rigid. And now we just have to add the two inserts to the left and right side for the frame inserts. We'll start with a small insert, and again, large slot to the bottom, small slot to the top, and again, start at one end. With a gentle bending motion, just engage each clip around, reverse it, and now we take the right-hand side of the enclosure insert, the small tab to the bottom, large slot to the top, and again, just engage the tabs one at a time. And that simple, we built the front of our enclosure for the wall spot. Door opens, door closes, and in a little bit we will install this on the printer. Okay, next we'll be building the back of the enclosure. It's very similar to the front of the enclosure, the layout's here. We will be then following instructions on page 4 of 5. Here to build some of the back. Again, it's very similar to the front, just looks a little bit different. And here's our laid out pieces for the back of the enclosure. We will start with the back face and the bottom. And just like the front, a slight bending motion to engage the tabs. Again, with the acrylic, you don't want to force it, but just a gentle bending. And as with the front, the back is free to hinge until we get the side panels on. Next, we'll attach the top enclosure. Again, slight bending motion to engage it. Again, free to move until we get the side pieces on. Next, we'll attach the side panel. Starting at the bottom, we'll engage the hooks. 
gauge the hooks and then we're going to go around making sure the tabs are aligned and they'll go together with just a gentle bending motion and a click and they're engaged. There we've got one side on, we'll turn it over. We will do the same for the next side which is engage the hooks, slide them up and with a gentle bending motion and a slight click engage each of the tabs around the edge of the enclosure and there we've assembled the bump out for the back and now all we have to do is attach the sides so we will attach the wide piece slot to the bottom and small slot to the top starting at one end gentle bending motion and with a click that's in place and then we will attach the small clip large slot to the bottom small slot to the top and again starting with a gentle motion attach the frame inserts and there is the back of the enclosure for a low spot printer notice that the small insert is to the right large is to the left that'll make sense because the build platform is offset in this printer Okay, here we're going to show how the clips go on. We've chosen the left-hand side panel. It's the smallest of the panels, but all the panels will be the same in terms of how they function with the clips. We have two clips. We have a small clip and a large clip. The large clip is going to go on the bottom in the large slots. The small clip will go on the top in the small slots on all the panels. Now, the clips have an orientation. It's a little bit hard to tell, but if you look closely, you can see that there's a large and a narrow slot. The narrow slot will go onto the metal of the printer frame because that's thin and the large slot will go on to the acrylic. Uh, it'll be obvious to tell when you go to put it on the printer because if you have it reversed, it simply won't go on to the acrylic easily, in which case you just want to flip it around um, to have it go. Uh, it should slide on very easily when you do. So uh, here we have the large clip. We're going to put it into the slot in the um, left-hand side panel. goes on very easily. We'll take the second large clip and slide it all the way into the large slot, and those will be on the bottom of the panel. And then we're going to do very similar with the top clips, which is we'll slide them onto the panel. And there we've got one small clip. And then we're going to do the second small clip onto the panel. And that's what it looks like when we have the clips installed on the left-hand side panel. Again, two small ones to the top, two large clips to the bottom. Now the large clips slide further in, and they will slide then down to engage the printer and lock the panel in place. The small clips um, are static, but they will just engage the top of the frame on the printer. And we'll show how that works with all the panels when we bring our little spot out and actually install the panels onto it. Okay, here we have all of our pieces assembled for our Lulzbot 3D printer enclosure. We have the right side panel, the left side panel, the optional top panel, the back of the enclosure, and the front of the enclosure with the door. Again, these pieces are all assembled, ready to go with the clips, ready to go on the printer. We'll do that step next. Uh, remember, they've been frosted just for clarity in the video. When you actually get your pieces, they'll look like this. They'll be clear acrylic, and they'll have a protective um, layer on them, which is easy to remove, but giving you a clear acrylic piece. Okay, here we have our Lulzbot 3D printer, and we're ready to install the panels on it. We're going to start with the left-hand side panel. That's the small panel. And we're going to start by engaging the two small clips into the top of the frame. Just sort of tilt it in like that. And they'll slide in. And then the panel will rotate into position very easily. And then to lock the panel in place, we're just going to press down on each of the large clips to engage the frame. And our panel is securely locked in place. Next, we're going to install the front on our Lulzbot printer. So we've got the front of the enclosure, uh, door latch to the left, hinges to the right. Again, we're going to install the uh, small clips first. We'll slide up into the printer frame, engage one at a time. And then we'll rotate the printer and enclosure into position. And then the small clips engaged. Next, we will slide the large clips down to lock the enclosure into place. And there, the front of our enclosure is installed on the wall spot. Check the door. The door works fine. And latch works fine. We have the front arm enclosure. Okay, next we're going to install the right hand side uh, panel for our enclosure. We have the small clips to the top, large clips to the bottom, as with the others. We will engage the small clips onto the printer frame and rotate the panel into place. 
and then we're going to engage the large clips just like with the others to lock the panel into position on the printer. Now remember if you have the uh, original style arm on your printer which hinges down you'll need to remove the right side panel before you rotate that arm down because it will interfere um, with the panel. To remove we just do the reverse which is slide the two lower large clips up and rotate the panel out to remove. Again really easy quick and easy to remove and you'll need to do that if you're going to rotate your arm down and also very easy to reinstall the panel. There we have our right side uh, panel for the Wellspot Mini printer installed. Next we're going to install the back of the enclosure on our Wellspot 3D printer and and back is, uh, like the other panels, has small clips to the top. Large clips will be on the bottom. We're going to engage the small clips onto the printer first at the top, with the bottom rotated out. And you want to make sure it's in line with the frame and then gently rotates into position. And then we will slide the two large clips down to lock the back of the enclosure into place. And there we've got the back of the enclosure installed on our low spot printer. All right, next we're gonna install the top plate on the Wellspot 3D printer. This plate is optional. It does have an orientation you wanna keep track of. The offset slot for the filament is uh, offset to the front of the printer, which is back here. And the large clips go to the front. Uh, there is a handle on the printer, so you wanna be aware. You can put this thing on upside down or backwards, in which case, guess what, it won't work. So make sure the orientation is correct. This is as viewed from the back with the slot facing forward. The clip here to the left goes this way. The clip on the right goes this way, as again, as viewed from the back of the printer. So we're going to slide the two small clips on first into the frame, just like the other panels. And with those engaged in the, print, in the panel lined up, we will drop it into place and then lock it with simple slide of the two large clips. And there we have our top plate installed on the Wellsbot 3D printer. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and visit us at tabsynth.com. Once again, this has been Jim Rasmussen from Tabsynth Designworks. Enjoy your new enclosure.